Well, good morning to you. This is Jackie Holland here in Sherman, Texas, and I'm hoping you're having a blessed day. This is the day that the Lord has made. He told us to rejoice and be glad. As we go about our day, let us remember that the others around us are going through some tough times. Some people, they may have a smile on their face or they may have a frown, but that doesn't always determine what's going on. Sometimes people are just bogged down with cares, and so they've, they've gotten to a habit of not smiling or not being friendly. But there's others that smile through the storm because they're afraid if they stop smiling, they'll break into pieces like a puzzle. So just be kind today as you go and bless people, love people. The Father loves us. He gave His Son for us. And so He tells us to give ourselves away and to love other people. I'm just sitting here in my, my room, in my office, and I'm just praying to the good Lord to bless you and for the Lord to bless us. It's been hard summer for a lot of people. It's hard to complain when you know, and all you have to do is turn on the news and you see people that have, they're losing loved ones, they're dying, they're losing their jobs, they're sick, they're, they're just going through so much. It's hard to, it's hard to complain. But yet, the Lord said, let your needs be made known. And the Lord said, ask, ask the Lord, ask the Lord for help. He said, the peace of God that passes all understanding will flood your heart, your mind, your soul. He said, don't be anxious, don't be worried, don't fret. God started a good work in you and he's gonna complete it. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. Whatever you have need of, ask the Lord today. I have need for finances for our ministry and for bills and just some things that have taken place and repairs and various things that need to be taken place with with things that have to do with the ministry. But you just have, you know, you, life goes on. Stuff breaks, things break down. I was blessed this week though with something very special, a wonderful desktop computer, brand new, installed, and I'm just loving it so much and thanking God for that. The Lord, blesses us with so much we must remember to give him thanks and again remember when we see people don't judge them or try not to by the scowl on their face or the actions they might have even towards you it's not personal usually it's just something that's going on inside Lord I ask you to let your peace be upon us oh God peace peace wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Spread over us, O oh God. Fall upon us, Lord. And show us, God, what you'd have us do today. I'm getting excited about my teaching that I'll be doing over at the Buster Cole Prison every month. I'll start it September 4th, Lord willing. So I've been going through my Battlefield of the Mind books. That's always interesting and and knowing, you know, the battle between your between your eyes is in your heart. <laughs> you look like your thoughts, your your mind, your will, your emotions. So you gotta take you gotta take control of your of your stinking thinking and think on things that are good, true, pure, and lovely. Good report. If by chance you're listening to me and you do not know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you should think why well, I didn't know I was supposed to. Well, well, you don't. You're not. You're not supposed to. You you get to. You have the opportunity to and the honor to. That God made a way for us to escape damnation. We don't have to sacrifice anything. Blood, bulls, and goats, and turtle doves. <laughs> Jesus paid the price. He's. He, sacrificed. he made the ultimate sacrifice when he went to the cross and died for us. You've all seen 
a cross around people's neck. And some people, you think they live like the devil and they're wearing that cross. It doesn't matter. They like crosses. Or maybe they just love Jesus in their heart and they just messed up. Who knows? Again, we can't be judging. I guess you can judge their fruits, but that's hard to decipher. Might as well leave it alone. Just bless people. Jesus died for us. He paid for our sins. He said, if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. He said, no man can serve two masters. You'll either love one or you'll hate the other. I'm going to turn around so I can see you better. He said, choose this day who you'll serve. You're going to serve somebody. You're going to serve somebody. That's all there is to it. You're going to serve somebody. So serve the Lord. May Jesus come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins and cleanse me. I give you my life. I give you my heart. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and your power and your love. Today, I pray in Jesus' name. If you pray that prayer, I hope you'll let me know. I love, I love hearing from you. Just text me. And if you want to go to my website and check out our ministry, it's whosoeverwill.tv. Whosoeverwill.tv. And um, my post office box is 57 Sherman, Texas, 75091. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, I do have books available, Dumpsters and Diamonds, and I even have some exposed heart books that I've written. So if you're interested in my books, let me know that too. Oh, there's no book better than the Bible. But books are good, and you learn a lot. And, and they bless us because we encourage one another. So you have a blessed day, and just know the Lord is for you. And if he's for you, who, my dear, can be against you? Nobody. Nobody. He loves you.